I have not been feeling my son moving. Hey guys, what's up? Um, be honest, I'm not having a good morning. All weekend since Friday, I want to say, like when we went to go um, get the keys for the house, I've just been extremely anxious. This is our situation right now, by the way. <laughs> they were all stacked up nicely, but then, you know, cats. I'm pretty sure there's actually one in here. Hello. Yeah. We took some boxes to the new house yesterday. Um, got a cat tree delivered, ordered them a new cat tree, and then a few other items for them as well. <sighs> got that all set up. But anyway, as I was saying, um, you know, well, yes. Yes, you're very cute. Hello, my little guy. Uh, by the way, Faticus, he went to his senior checkup and he does have to have a couple extractions in the back and he's on antibiotics right now. Um, his blood work came back great apart from there being, as the doctor put it, like the earliest, earliest stages of kidney disease. He is 12. He didn't seem too bothered by it. He did mention that um, he does have like an infection in his mouth and that can sometimes mess with the numbers with like the kidney values and everything. So we're gonna retest after he has his extractions and everything to see if that clears up. But of course that made me anxious as well cause I don't want any of my cats to be, you know, going through horrible illnesses or anything, but apparently it's fairly common for senior cats. So that wasn't the greatest news. But as far as the rest of the anxiety goes, um, I have not been feeling my son moving. It was like two and a half days that I didn't feel him at all. I didn't feel him on Friday at all. I was like an anxious mess while I was at Cameron's office. And I also had like a call back that day that I had to do on Zoom. So there was that anxiety. And then I just wasn't feeling him move. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just go get some fruit. And I ate some fruit and that didn't do anything. And I just, I thought for sure that I lost my son. I thought for sure. And then we had some lunch and just before we went to go see the house, I felt a little poke on the left-hand side because my placenta is on the right-hand side. And I was like, okay, okay. But then the next day, I also didn't feel him moving. And then every now and then I felt like just the tiniest of movements, but it was more like a rolling sensation. So it could have been his back against my my tummy that I was feeling just moving. But then I started believing that I wasn't feeling my son and that I was just feeling my digestive system or something. And then, yeah, Whew, Saturday was, I almost went to labor and delivery because I was so terrified that I had lost him and that I wasn't actually feeling him. And then same thing, we had some dinner and then I laid down, I laid down for an hour on my left hand side trying to get him to sort of float down there and so I could feel him poke. Didn't feel anything for an hour. Then I was sort of like on my stomach but still on my side to sort of get him to move towards the front and then it's like he finally turned over and started poking me. You know, pregnancy after loss is hard enough. But pregnancy after loss with an anterior placenta is like insult to injury. It really is because it, if he moves into a position where the placenta is covering him, I just don't feel him. I really, I have to rely on that, you know, left hand side where his little feet are over there or his hands or whatever I'm feeling. But if he's not in that exact position, I just don't feel him. And it just, I know everyone's going to say, get, get a Doppler and the Doppler is on its way. Um, there's a little delay in the shipping with that, but 
we are doing, yes, let's <laughs> make all the boxes fall even more. Um, we are doing the 18 week checkup today. I'm getting some blood work done. So I am going to see my son on the ultrasound today. And then tomorrow is the anatomy scan. I did feel him poking this morning. So I am anxious because I just have that white coat anxiety. Excuse me. But I 95% sure he's fine. You know what I mean? Um, I just have that fear that I'm going to go in and not see a heartbeat again. You know, it's crazy. I thought like the longer the pregnancy progresses, the easier it's going to get. And that is not the case. It's, it's getting harder because I feel like in the first trimester, I was like, well, this is like when miscarriages can happen and I should just expect it. So once we got into the second trimester, I was like, oh, holy crap. Like we have a chance now. So now the stakes are higher. You know what I mean? But then I'm like, oh no, like I'm approaching the anatomy scan. What if he doesn't have his kidneys or something and then his lungs can't grow? And uh, yeah, just, I catastrophize. I'm sure everything's just fine, but yeah, it's just been really hard. And I'm, I'm certain that the Doppler's really going to help. It really, like, if I have any kind of anxiety, I'm sure I can just pop that thing on there, hear him, and be fine. But it's, yeah, it's been really difficult on days when he doesn't move. We have to leave in 10 minutes, so I will see you all in the car or something. And we're back. <laughs> um, we have some boxes in here, if you couldn't tell. Cameron's gonna take a few larger items and then some of his closet stuff over to the new house. Uh, by the way, some little house updates. We went yesterday, we did find a door uh, the, and a cat flap. It's funny. <laughs> the, the cat flap we had to choose is called Chubby Cat, which I thought was so fitting because <laughs> I know that my bigger cats aren't going to fit through the one that goes up to 12 pounds. I guess you're going to you're going to attempt to cut the cat flap today, mm -hmm. and then hopefully we can get the kittles over there by the weekend. I got their cat tree, their new cat tree all set up and I just want to get their um, their wall shelves set up before we get them over there because when you move cats to a new space, they tend to freak out, but if they have something familiar and high up, then it's less anxiety inducing for them because it smells like them. They're higher up so they feel safe. Um, and I know somebody was asking, like, how do you move cats? And that would be the way is like, take something of theirs that smells like them and put it in a room and always have something high up, a place where they can go to, to feel safe. Because cats do not feel safe low on the ground. They feel safe higher up. So that's the plan this week. Isn't it beautiful? Don't you just love those prices? You'll have to tell me the gas prices of wherever all of y'all are at, because Pretty sure California is the worst. Heading in. We have the park a ways yeah. away, so. Um, no shortage of work for Cameron, though. <laughs> it's crazy. It's only 18 weeks, and I'm already got the waddle going. I have to waddle. And I also have like that. Um, I forget what it's called, where you're, you have pelvic girdle pain, like the bones feel like they're just grinding. Super fun. Everything's happening early this time. Whew. Getting winded. Ah, the sun. Um, anyway, we're about to go inside, so. I'll see you on the other side, hopefully, with some fantastic news. I'm sure, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Well, the good news is baby looks great. 
Bad news is, veins weren't cooperating. See? I look huge. Me too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We're having twins. <laughs> There's that lovely scent of fabuloso. Yeah. This is my fabuloso face. <laughs> so it makes complete sense why I wasn't feeling him move the last few days because on the ultrasound you could see he was just chilling on the right hand side underneath that placenta and then all his fluid was pushed over to the left side. So chilling under his little weighted blanket so that makes sense but everything looked great and tomorrow's the anatomy scan so we're gonna count all his organs and everything but we saw his little hands he like has his hands in front of his face and then his, he has long legs of course got your legs yes little creature <laughs> That relieves a lot of anxiety that he's just he's just over there right now yeah this is why anterior placentas suck ass and I'm gonna swear because when he goes and hides under it he scares mommy to death I don't like it but everything looked wonderful so. yeah yeah I think this is gonna be the end of this vlog. I will definitely be vlogging the anatomy scan tomorrow and I think I'll actually get some pictures tomorrow. <laughs> so, see you next time, bye.